Hi everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello. It's Bria, it's nice to meet you. And today, we're filming a college week in my life this week. It is Monday, April 19th. And today, I'm just getting ready. I'm like halfway done. I'm just putting blush on, but yeah, I just wanted to introduce the vlog. It's a college week of my life. We've got some things going on. I want to give you guys a little update when I'm done getting ready, but I will see you guys in a few, and I will look more presentable, but I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, don't mind my dirty laundry right here. That's just going to stay there. Um, But, yes, so I wanted to give you guys, I finished my makeup, glowy, beautiful, um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update of what's been going on. I haven't vlogged in almost a month. I haven't posted in almost a month. Um, a lot of shit went down, not gonna lie. Um, so after my video that I posted with Anna Luisa, my Get Ready With Me video, I was actually sitting right here, so how ironic. Um, after I posted my Get Ready With Me, working with Anna Luisa, um, I started feeling sick. Um, you know, like how I sound right now. Um, coughing, sneezing, you know, the works. And then Thursday, I went to work, completely fine. Nothing went wrong with that. Friday, woke up super achy. I was just not feeling it. I was supposed to go to a friend's house. It was just not it. Um, so I stayed home. Saturday, I woke up with no taste or smell. This is previously, like in March. Um, woke up with no taste or smell on Saturday morning. I was like, all right, I went co I got COVID tested at a CVS. And it came back positive on the 20th of March. So your girl caught COVID. Um, I don't know how. Still have no clue. Um, but I am doing a lot better. This is allergies. There's definitely a difference between COVID and allergies for me. Um, but this is just a genuine, like, allergy bullshit thing. Um, but yeah, this is when my allergies are bad. Um, I got COVID. I still have no idea where I caught it from. Um, but that's why I haven't posted in a month. Also, literally just school has been crazy. I'm trying to find an internship so I can graduate in May, you know. Um, but yeah, so... I caught COVID at the end of March, literally a year later after this pandemic happened, I caught it. Um, in no way, literally in no way did I ever think I was safe from this virus. Literally anybody can catch it. You can catch it within the drop of a hat. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm actually getting my vaccine on Friday, so let me know if you guys want a video on that. Uh, on Thursday, I'm getting my first dose on Thursday. Um... But let me know if you guys want a video on my side effects or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so there's just a quick update. I'm about to go get breakfast soon and drink coffee because I haven't had either of those yet. But yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. And I will catch you guys probably while I'm eating and drinking coffee because I'm hitting a wall here. <laughs> Hello everyone, a long time, no talk. It is currently um, Tuesday, April 20th, and so last night I went over to my boyfriend's house and I slept over, so I didn't really vlog anything there, but now I am home. Um, I included like a little bit of clips from, you know, his house, but like other than that it wasn't, I didn't really do anything too crazy, um, but Yes, yeah, so it is Tuesday, and today I obviously drove home from my boyfriend's apartment, and then I also ate dinner like an hour ago, so we're fully replenished. I got another internship interview for Friday morning, and I am so nervous, but we'll see how it goes. The one on Monday went really well, so hopefully the train just keeps rolling and they're both good, um, but... Yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Um, I'm going to shower because this hair needs a shower, needs a wash, 
before I go get my hair done tomorrow morning. But yeah, so that's all I have to say for today. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. It is currently 8.53 a.m. on Wednesday, April 21st, and I got my hair done today. I'm so excited. This is like the before, I guess. I'll show you a closer up before in a few minutes, but I got my breakfast from my favorite breakfast spot right now, Pammy's Place. Got a sausage, egg, and cheese and a plain bagel. I got my coffee because, you know, I'm tired as hell. Still love this cup though. Quarantined on my 21st birthday because I was last year. Um, but yeah, I'm, I got my hair appointment this morning at 11.15, so I'm gonna eat my breakfast. I'm gonna get some homework done because I am really freaking behind. Like I am disastrously behind. I don't even think that's a word, but um, I'm very behind on my homework. And um, yeah, so I will catch you guys a little bit later on after I'm done eating. All right, hi you guys. So I'm about to head out for my hair appointment, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick before, like a closer up before, like those roots and stuff. But yeah, this is the before of my hair. Um, I still don't really know what, I know what color like is happening. I don't know if I wanna cut it or not. But you will find out after the, like after <laughs> this clip if I decide to cut my hair or not. So I will see you guys in a few, maybe a couple hours, but I will see you soon. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm covering my camera so you guys can see the hair. <laughs> All right, three, hold on, let me readjust. Three, two, one. Blonde Bria is back. I am obsessed with my hair, you guys. Gave it a little trim. She blonde again. I am so obsessed with my hair. You have no idea. Shout out to Jess. I love you. You're amazing. You work magic with my hair. But I'm so happy. I was there for about four hours, which is a long time for me. But I'm gonna eat some Panera. It is almost 4 p.m. It's like 3.40. I got a salad from Panera because I haven't eaten since like 8 o'clock this morning with breakfast. But yeah, I'm gonna go stare at myself in the mirror now because I look so good and take some pictures. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. And yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my salad and watch some more YouTube videos. Good morning, everybody. It is um, Thursday, April 22nd, and it's my best friend's birthday. Happy birthday, Neve. Love you, girl. Um, but yeah, so it is not even nine o'clock this morning, and I feel like I've done so much today. So just wanted to update you guys. I got breakfast. Got breakfast. I have my coffee in my friend's cup. Um, I did my makeup. I made some stuff for my sorority this morning. I also, what else did I do? I cleaned up my room a little bit because it was trashy. I have water bottles everywhere. 
Um, I looked like I didn't have to do anything because my hair is still good from yesterday. This is also like more like natural lighting, I guess. So you can see the more blonde that it is and I'm obsessed with my hair. Um, but yeah, today's Thursday, which means I get my first dose of my vaccine today. I'm going to be making a separate video that will probably be up before this video will go up. So if that's up already, go check it out. Um, it'll be up in the cards or linked in, linked down below or anything. But yeah, that video will probably be up before this one. Just letting you know so if there's any out of order things. But I also, in this video, wanted to put in a little segment on how I prepare for interviews. Um, since I have one tomorrow morning, I want to prep for it today, take notes, whatever I need to do. So I thought I would show you guys and give you a little bit of tip, like tip opportunities. Um, just because I've learned some things throughout the externship process that I've done. So if you guys have any, like if you need any help with anything, um, I hope this little segment at some point after I'm done eating breakfast will help you out a little bit. But I'm going to eat, watch some YouTube videos first, and then we'll get into that segment. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. And I'm going to go eat now and drink my coffee. Alright, good morning everyone. It is currently Friday, April 23rd. And it is the day after I got my shot. Um, I'm feeling sore. It's very sore today. More sore than my flu shot was. Um... But I fell asleep pretty early. I fell asleep around like 11-ish, which is when I usually fall asleep. But I woke up in the middle of the night a couple times. And I have a pretty bad headache. So once I eat breakfast, I'm going to take some medicine so I don't have an off stomach all day. Because, you know, that's just worse than, you know, the works. But yeah, so like I said, it is currently 7.35 a.m. Um, I've been up since like 6.45 for no apparent reason. I kind of just woke up. But my camera died last night while I was trying to give you guys like a recap of my day yesterday. But I have my interview this morning and I wanted to give you guys some tips while I like prepare for my interview. So I'm going to get ready and we're going to look a little bit better. I'm going to eat too and have coffee because I'm quite tired from yesterday. So I will work on getting some tips for you guys and I will see you guys later on. Okay, hi you guys. It is currently 1010. Oh weird. 1010 a.m. My interview is in like an hour and a half ish. Or like hour 15. Um I'm going to tell you guys some tips that we got um for me that work for me. Um, if they don't work for you, don't worry about it. But these are just some things that have helped me prepare for an interview, especially if it's an internship interview. Um, but yeah, so the first tip that I have is to make sure you research the company or like look into like their latest news or something like that. Just because you never know if they're going to ask you a question about their team or about their company or anything like that. Um, it's always important to find like the news section on either the company's page or like a new update that they have going on or a new product that they're coming out with or a new like sports deal or something. Just know like the newest of the new. Another tip that I have is make sure you have like a resume printed out or like a um, like a summary of your resume with you just in case that they do ask you about your resume because I know um, Someone who interviewed me before asked me, what do you do at such and such a place? Or what do you, what did you do at here? Whatever, like, like, whatever that may be. Just so you know that you're not caught off guard when they ask you that question. Also, another tip that I have is when you're, like, on your Zoom call, make sure you have, like, really good lighting. Like, right now, this is great. And always check it, like, in photo booth. Or if you have a MacBook, photo booth whatever it may be like even log on to the zoom call early making sure that your lighting is okay um that's like the worst thing because i literally just tried to sit in front of this window and i was completely backlit and nobody could see me so i'm now sitting in like this corner because this is like pretty good lighting from up here from the side over here and it's just like bouncing all over the place so everything is pretty well lit over here 
Also make sure everything's charged. Uh, computer, if you're using your computer. iPad, if you're using an iPad. AirPods, if you're like out and about, just make sure you have your AirPods or anything charged because you don't know how long this interview is gonna last. Like my interview that I had last week was literally a half an hour and I had my computer plugged in the whole time, my AirPods stayed charged the whole time. So just make sure like you have everything that you need to use charged and handy in front of you. You don't wanna say, hey, I have to go get up and get this. You wanna show that you are prepared for your interview and you're prepared to take on the job. But yeah, those are some tips that I have. Also another one, phone on do not disturb or even shut it off. Like I had my phone off in my other interview and I didn't get any notifications like throughout the whole thing or even airplane mode might work too. Um, just so there's no distraction from you and it knows like the interviewers know like you're paying attention and that you're fully like enthralled into that interview. Also just like I think like the most important one is just be yourself. Like that's so like I guess over said but it's always true. Don't lie about anything that you're gonna say like I mean, yeah, there's some things as like little white lies, but like don't do that. Like it's just only, it's not only misleading you, but it's also misleading in the company of what you can do. Like I'm not gonna say, oh, I worked on this huge project like a couple years ago, and like by myself. Like no, I had a group of people with me. I had like more than one person working on this section. Like I wasn't the only one working on that section, so I'm not gonna say, hey, this was my section. Like, yeah, it was my section, but I had a group of people working with me on that section. Like, don't take, like, credit where it's not due. Um, just because you don't want to make a fool out of yourself. And, like, say if your references are asked, hey, this person mentioned, you know, this project. Was she actually working on her own or was she with the group? The professor's going to, or whoever your person is, you're going to say, oh, she was actually working with another person. So then you already lied. And then now the interviewers know that you lie to them. It's just like, just make sure that you're really telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth with your yourself. And just, you know, smile. And if you don't know an answer to a question, just be like, I don't really know that answer to this question, but I'm gonna answer it with the best of my ability. And just show like, don't lean back in the interview. Like just don't slouch, just like sit, sit up nice and tall. Like you gotta be a professional. Like you're going into a world of work, especially for me. I will be graduating in like two weeks, which is nuts. And I will be working a full nine to five, which I've never done before. Like you need to put your best foot forward and be proud of yourself and be confident in the work that you're presenting to them because it's gonna go a long way. And even they might ask you for a second interview, who knows, but you gotta stay confident in yourself. But yeah, now I'm gonna take notes on, even take notes on the people that you're interviewing, just so you can like know like their position in general. Like for me, like my, the person who's interviewing me gave me the list of people that are gonna be there, that's gonna be there on that interview and I went onto the website and I found their exact position and their little bio that's on their website and I'm gonna ask, probably ask them questions about what they've done. You know, how does their position impact a game day or how does their like position impact like a launch of a product or anything like that. Just know that you're engaged and truly wanting to learn about the people you're interviewing just because like you're, like I'm gonna be interviewing them at some point, like at the end of my interview if I have any questions for them. So, you know, just stay on your toes. It's gonna be fine. You're gonna do great. And this is more of like a pep talk for me now. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna do great. They're gonna like you. They might not, they're gonna, they are going to offer you a job as an internship. So, you can do it. Okay, now I'm gonna go like take notes now. That interview went so well, you guys. Holy cow. I'm shocked how good it went. Um, I should know by the end of next week, I think. I think that's what they said. I said they were making decisions like next week, so probably by the end of next week that I'll know, which is so freaking soon. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so <laughs> I'm still shocked at how good it went, but I felt super confident in myself. Got a nice background, 
they both of them said that I was pretty qual like well enough qualified for the position. <laughs> so I hope I get I hope I get it. I hope I get it. But yes, yeah, so now I'm gonna do homework for the rest of the day and change out of the shirt because I feel like it. And um I'm gonna go get my nails done later. There's another before. I'm gonna probably get something more natural. Like I love like the tips and stuff, but I think it's time for something more natural, shorter, because I'll be typing up all my finals and stuff now. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. And yeah, okay, I'm gonna go do homework now. Hi you guys, okay, we're doing an impromptu haul because I feel like it. All my packages, that, packages, words, packages that came in, um, that were supposed to come in, came in today. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. Okay, so first things first, I already opened this one, but it's from American Eagle from where I work. Look at how cute. This is my first ever jean skirt that I've ever owned, ever. Um, so I got this like super light color. Oh my God, I can't lift my arm too high. Um, I love this like wash. It's, it doesn't even say the wash on here but um i'll link it down below i'm pretty sure it's in there but it's the curvy one so it sits better on me super freaking cute and then i also got this bathing suit you guys this pink whew, this is way too out of this is so out of my comfort zone for me but you guys this color pink i'm obsessed <laughs> like okay so this is the front and it's like really ribbed and super freaking cute. It's like they're super, where is it on here? High cut cheeky, super freaking cute. I'm obsessed with the color. And then also I got the top in pink and like this top is so, dude, you guys, I can't right now. Look at it, it's so cute. It's like pretty, it's like long ribbed. I think it's called long lined, I, I guess. I believe that's what it's called. Long lined, like top scoop. It's their scoop top, but I believe it's like long lined, so it's a little bit longer. It almost fits like a crop top kind of. But that's the back, and then the buttons on the front are just so cute. I can't. I love everything I got from there. And then I ordered a couple of things from the Sephora sale. I only ordered two things because I'm broke broke right now so i only ordered a couple of things but this box seems heavy unless the things i ordered could have been heavy i don't really know i don't think they were that heavy but okay so i ordered yeah i think the stuff that i ordered was just heavy but this is the bumble and bumble head hairdressers Invisible oil heat slash UV protector primer. Um, I heard this stuff was good. I don't really have a heat protectant. I use Olaplex number seven, but that's like not like a super huge like heat protectant. It's kind of like a dry oil like for the ends of your hair. But I heard this stuff was good, so I want to try it out. And then I also got the big, not the big, but um, the You to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins uh, Superfood Cleanser. Oh, it came with a pump! <gasps> How fun! Okay. Is this glass? I think it's glass. Yeah, it's definitely glass. Uh, but this is what it looks like. I've heard good things about it, just in general, from people that I watch on TikTok, but also, like, the reviews are pretty good, so. Ooh, this smells good. I just need, like, a, a basic cleanser, because I think the cleanser that I'm using is actually irritating my skin. Um, I've been using the CeraVe, um, salicylic acid cleanser, but I'm also using, like, a toner and, like, an exfoliant, so I think that's, like, irritating my skin, so I just need, like, a basic cleanser, and I heard this one was good, and it, like, fit, like, my skin care, like, my skin type, so I'm gonna try it out, and I'll let you guys know, but I love this bottle, it's glass, kind of scary that it's glass, but I will let you guys know if I like it, but that's my quick haul, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, um, I'm going to go back to doing some editing and doing some homework. Hi, you guys. I am back from my nail appointment. It only took about like an hour and a half-ish, which was really nice, but uh, I'm obsessed with them. 
Oh my god, look at them. <gasps> look at how pretty they are. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. Um, so my pump on my bottle is broken. Like it won't like untwist. It won't do anything. Um, can't lift it up. Can't do anything with it. So I'm going to figure that out. I think tomorrow after I get out of work. Or maybe I'll go early and I'll do it before I go to work. I don't really know. But I want to use it tonight. So I don't I don't really know. Um, maybe I'll just like forget about it and I don't really, really care. Because like you don't have to use a pump with it. But it's definitely easier to use with a pump. So I don't know what to do with that. But yeah. So just wanted to give you guys a little update. I'm going to shower tonight because this is now day three here because I got it done Wednesday so yeah but now I'm just watching YouTube and I'm gonna try and get some more work done but other than that I will see you later okay hi you guys it is currently 10 30 p.m. um pretty much close to 10 30 um I showered paint it was a interesting shower you know not being able basically to use my right arm but yeah besides that I'm currently editing my COVID-19 vaccine vlog. That'll be probably going up before this vlog. So if that's up already, go check it out. Um, but yeah, so I'm currently editing that. Um, I wanted to end off the vlog here, this college week in my life. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite um, show is currently. You know, just a general show. Um, anything you want, comment anything you want. In general, I'll be looking at comments. Also, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you're notified when any other videos are uploaded to my channel. And I will see you guys.